we're done. That sounds good. All right, dude. Um, yeah, so I I think I seen you uh in the Zoom calls a little bit, but other than that, I don't really know you. Oh yeah, so um my name is I guess Christopher Thee. Uh, um I've been known my entire life as Topher. Okay ever since I was in kindergarten. So unless you're my mom or dad, they're the only ones that call me Chris Christopher. <laughs> uh the rest of the world knows me as Topher. So um yeah, born and raised here in Laie, Hawaii. Okay. Uh, I've been here the majority of my life. Uh, I served a two-year mission in California, NorCal, Sacramento. Okay. And uh, I spent, I think, three years in Utah. I played college football up there. So um, after I I decided to stop playing, I just came back, worked for a couple of years at uh, Cool Oil Ranch, the easiest money I've ever made in my life. <laughs> and, uh, I decided to, to finish school, so I just decided to go to BYU Hawaii. All right, where were you playing at in Utah? So I played a season at Utah State. That was, okay. I think, what, 2014? And then um, they were supposed to scully me after uh, fall camp, but they ended up scholarshipping. I think it was the backup kicker. So I ended up leaving because out-of-state tuition at Utah State, I think it was like 9K a semester. Yeah. Well, so I did um, – I, I went from Utah State. I went down to Snow College. Okay. For, two seasons as well and then uh after snow i just decided uh to re retire because my body was getting all boss up so you no know, i gotta save some brains for you know the next 60 yeah. 70 yeah so i stopped playing sweet dude um all right my name's mac um i'm from las vegas we were talking about the other day about the bishop gorman and all that stuff everyone knows uh Gorman's good at football. They are super good. But uh, yeah, I uh, I also served a mission. I just got back about a year ago. I was in Bolivia. Um, yeah. I got sent home like about three months early because of coronavirus. But because I had so little time left, I was just done. You know. Yeah. Also, you weren't there for the, when the pandemic hit. Yeah. Or so like right when the pandemic started, they they sent me home. And because I had been out so long, I didn't have to get reassigned or anything. Oh, okay. I had about, I had almost 21 months. So I was already on the downhill. So you finished. Yeah. I was, my, I, we had transfers in my presence. Like, all right, this is your last area. I'm like, okay, cool. We're not even matter. Yeah. I mean, it, it stunk, but at the same time, I, I got the whole experience, you know, so. All right, right on. And then, yeah, I came out here last September. So this is my third semester here. Um, yeah, I'm in Laie right now. I'm living in Hawaii. I wasn't going to stay home just because of some cold virus going around. Yeah, yeah. I don't blame you at all. Yeah. You know, uh, what? oh, you I don't skater? Know. what's up? You're a skater? Yeah, a skateboard. Uh, I grew up my whole life riding, riding BMX, skateboarding at the skate park. And then I came here and just started surfing too. added that to the list of things to do it's my it's i'm living the dream out here we surf we skateboard every single day it's the best right on. that's the way I, i'm a bodyboarder so i don't surf but oh yeah yeah you're I'm saying that yeah well i'll find you at ponders if there's any size any size yeah. gotta get it inside that's sick dude all right um talk a little bit about kind of what we're working on this week or I think so. Is that was that part of the segment? Yeah, I or think just, so. let me pull this up real quick. Uh, yeah, I think we're just kind of supposed to introduce each other. What are you um what were you saying your kind of post college goals or plans are? Like uh, in the ultimately in the long run, um I want to take over my family's business. We have a farm. And okay. uh, is that where you're working right now? Yeah, so yeah, that's where that's where I'm working right now. I work full time with my dad. Uh we grow uh our main thing is we grow grass for or sod for private landscapers and golf courses so that's like our our main thing we do but i mean we have everything we have fish ponds prawn ponds we have pigs uh sheep duck everything pretty much we have, pretty much have a lot of stuff but um i want to take over it one to keep on my dad's legacy and two it keeps me in hawaii too so that's I, I, yeah i plan to to be in hawaii for the rest of my life so 
unless there's something that happens, but for the yeah, for never know. But that yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Sweet dude. How about you? Um I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I uh I've always wanted to go into the medical field and like some sort of specialized doctor. I've always wanted to be a orthodontist, but I honestly see like that orthodontics as kind of like a, a dying market in the next 30, 40 years because of all the Invisalign stuff that's coming out and you just literally order stuff off the internet and straighten your teeth. Yeah. So I think I want to do like endodontics, like root canals and oral surgeries and stuff. Wow. But that's just a thought. Like I, I might go into other stuff. I'm not set on it, you know, but I kind of wanted to, my whole idea of taking entrepreneurship and business classes is to be able to hopefully open my own practice someday. And so that way I kind of have that knowledge of, you know, how to run a small business or work for myself. Um, as to where I would live, I, I have no idea. Um, oh, I would, I, it would be cool to stay here in Hawaii. I love it here, but at the same time, Vegas is home. I love Las Vegas. No, that's a nice island, baby. Huh? That's a, that's a, that's a, yeah. It's so yeah. funny. I'm with friends and everyone's like, where are you from? Where are you from? They're like, oh, I'm from Utah. And everyone's all bored. And then, Las Vegas, Ninth Island, get all excited. It's hilarious. And if you did, if you end up doing that, Hawaii, there's always demand for those kind of stuff here. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing. Like even even anywhere, like any sort of like doctor or whatever. But I'm not I'm not like 100 percent set on that. I'd be open to doing other things. It's just kind of the direction I'm headed at right now. Oh, I don't keep it up, bro. I, I don't know. Four years of school is enough for me. That's all. Yeah, I mean. that's the only thing. Like. I know that I'm I'm capable of more school, and if I can discipline myself, I can do it. But at the same time, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of work. I'm in the same boat, so I've been in school for freaking too long, <laughs> seven, I think, six, seven years, just prolonging it. So that's why I'm taking this semester. I was like, I frick, I got to get over it. Yeah, too much pain. For sure, dude. What do you think about like? Have you uh been reading the book at all that we were supposed to read? somewhat not really yeah. I, didn't, I didn't buy it i just been like finding stuff online yeah i was i don't know i was reading a little bit today uh it's like really interesting to talk about a lot about like the leadership aspect of like big ce like big corporations and stuff and i thought it was funny because like all of like it talks about all the best leaders and how they were like the most like awkward self-reserved like humble quiet people whereas you'd expect them to be like all like big shots and rich and selfish and it made me like it almost made me like think of like the the leadership of the church you know because like all those guys like president nelson he has every every reason and every accomplishment that he could be you know he could be prideful and everything but he's probably one of the probably the most humble guy on the earth you know he's literally a genius but he'll be the first to tell you that he's still learning it like you know what i mean yeah that's every single one of them too yeah I just, I, that's, I mean, that's one thing I really admire about them too. It's just, I mean, if you think about it, President Nelson pretty much curated heart surgery. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure there's there's hundreds of medical discoveries that we don't even know about that he's also done. You know, exactly. Well, yeah, that's that that is something. I mean, it's it's funny because I mean we're doing like small business stuff, but we're we're learning about CEOs. And I took a lot last semester. I took another entrepreneurship class and. I mean, I, it was really hard for me to relate because it was talking about like these major corporations and yeah. But also, bro, we're in. I'm in like the, I'm literally in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Like, I like. It. And especially like, not even that, like, but being in Laie too, like it's it's everything super tiny here, like a lot of like mom and pop cell phone stuff. It's not even like in town where there's bigger things. And that's how we started too. I mean, mom and pop, and then eventually that we got our own land. And now we're doing our own thing, but I mean. I like Brother Wilson because he kind of relates it to like bigger corporations, but like minimalizes it to small business. So that's one thing I like about this class. It's been good so far. Yeah. Kind of like- it's pretty straightforward. I like it too. It's not, and it's not just like the, cause some of the other business classes I've taken or entrepreneurship has been kind of focused on like a little bit of like the financial stuff or like yeah. the legal stuff. But like this past couple of weeks, I mean, I don't know where, what's going to happen in the next month or so, but last couple weeks we've been talking about like the, the overhead and the leadership of it which is which is cool and different you know yeah that's crucial all right dude i think uh i think we've covered everything um do you want to i'll text you 
because we're supposed to exchange like our like our LinkedIn and Facebook and stuff like that. I already got your phone number. Oh, uh, I'll text you my email right now. Yeah, I'll I'll send you a text with all my with all my stuff on it, and then I'll I'll send you the link once I get this uploaded. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good, Mac. Thanks, bro. All right, dude. Have a good one. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.